The Twilight Saga, New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. Chapter 13, Killers. Seeing Jacob like that, innocent and vulnerable in sleep, had stolen all my revulsion, dissolved all my anger. I still couldn't turn a blind eye to what was happening, like Billy seemed to, but I couldn't condemn Jacob for it either. Love didn't work that way, I decided. Once you cared about a person, it was impossible to be logical about them anymore. Jacob was my friend, whether he killed people or not. And I didn't know what I was going to do about that. When I pictured him sleeping so peacefully, I felt an overpowering urge to protect him. Completely illogical. Illogical or not, I brooded over his the memory, his peaceful face trying to come up with some answer, some way to shelter him, while the sky slowly turned gray. Hi, Bella! Jacob's voice came from the darkness and made me jump. It was soft, almost shy. But I'd been expecting some forewarning from the noisy rocks, and so it still startled me. I could see his silhouette against the coming sunrise. It looked enormous. Jake! He stood several paces away, shifting his weight from foot to foot anxiously. Billy told me you came by, but it didn't take you very long, did it? I knew you'd figure it out. Yeah, I remember the right story now, I whispered. It was quiet for a long moment, and though it was still too dark to see, my skin prickled as if his eyes were searching my face. There must have been enough light for him to read my expression, because when he spoke again, his voice was suddenly acidic. You could have just called, he said harshly. I nodded. I know! Jacob started pacing along the rocks. If I listened very hard, I could just hear the gentle brush of his feet on the rocks beyond the sound of the waves. The rocks had clattered like castanets for me. Why did you come? He demanded, not halting his angry stride. I thought it would be better face to face! He snorted. Oh, much better! Jacob, I have to warn you! About the rangers and the hunters? Don't worry about it. We already know. Don't worry about it, I demanded in disbelief. Jake, they got guns! They're setting traps! Been offering rewards and... We can take care of ourselves, he growled, still pacing. They're not going to catch anything. They're only making it more difficult. They'll start disappearing soon enough, too. Jake! I hissed. What? It's just a fact? My voice was pale with revulsion. How could you feel that way? You know these people. Charlie's out there. The thought made my stomach twist. He came to an abrupt stop. What more can we do? He retorted. The sun turned in clouds a silvery pink line above us. I could see his expression now. It was angry, frustrated, betrayed. Could you, well, try not to be a werewolf? I suggested in a whisper. He threw his hands up in the air. Like I have a choice about it, he shouted. And how will that help anything if you're worried about people disappearing? I don't understand you, he glared at me, his eyes narrowing and his mouth twisting into a snarl. You know what makes me so mad I could just spit? I flinched away from his hostile expression.